up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Poland's Veminent Thrower 1993's I Come in Peace Killer Bulldozing Death Grind. If you're a fan of blood, you're going to fucking love this. I absolutely cannot stop listening to this beast right here. And it's a goddamn shame that this band broke up due to the sound quality of the original cassette. Which, I don't know what that sounded like. Because James Plotkin killed it with the production here. And as with a lot of Nuclear War Now reissues and whatnot, you get a badass poster. A band biography with promo photos. And... There's the original cassette layout. And Dan Fry did the actual layout for this LP reissue, which is also available on CD, in case you are interested, which you fucking should be. Because seriously, this is so goddamn good. From the piano opening of Different States of Consciousness, it just gets gnarlier and gnarlier. It's a great, great release right here. Especially coming from the Polish underground. It's fucking sick. Like, I definitely, definitely am bummed out that this is the only, you know, full-length recording that this band has. But Veminent Thrower fucking killed it with I Come In Peace. Awesome, awesome stuff right here. Just like this awesome fucking t-shirt. And... I know some of you actually care about this stuff, but the Blood Incantation crew neck that they had at the New York show, this is hands down probably the most comfortable fucking crew neck I have. It's actually on Ultimate Hanes Cotton, which is top shelf material if you know anything about clothing. Amazing, amazing stuff, and I've seen Blood Incantation about 10 times, and last night was the best I have ever seen them play. They were airtight. It was amazing. Dysrhythmia, again, I haven't seen them since like 2003, 2004. Their new album, they played front to back, and it's fucking great. There's some live footage on here. Watch it. And I apologize. Seriously, I apologize for the artificial brain footage not being the entire new song. I just made it a teaser because I figured that was better than nothing. Somebody from behind pushed forward and I accidentally pressed stop record and didn't notice it. And by the time the song was over, I was like, ah, oh, no. And then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, it's too late and I want to enjoy the show. I haven't seen Will and the Boys since uh, the Demi Lick tour. So I was like, all right, I, I'm just going to enjoy myself. And Will gave me a pair of fucking sunglasses along with a couple other of us. It was fucking sick. It was just a great show last night. Blood Incantation killed it. Like I said, if you're at St. Vitus tonight, make sure you get there early. Watch Ruin Lust. Watch Funeral Leech. And if you want some of this fucking killer, killer merchandise, get there early. Hopefully they still have some of these left because they were selling like hotcakes last night but something else that sold like hotcakes when it was reissued is in my hands right now and that is my favorite release by this band as well oh yeah mortician hooked up for barbecue this is a New York death metal classic in every fucking way. So
so goddamn good. The reissue's great. Comes with this nice fucking slip case with the artwork by Wes. You get the full art and a very nice old school design. Fucking amazing. Because it sounds amazing. From Blood Craving, every track on here to me is Mortician at their finest when it comes to their records. Like, if you're looking for a full-length record by Mortician, get in the hecked up for barbecue, chainsaw dismemberment, zombie apocalypse. Those three recordings right there, to me, are everything you could possibly want from Mortician. If you want something a little darker, though, that's where you go with House by the Cemetery or Mortal Massacre. But... We have Will Romer on bass and vocals. Somebody stole Will's facial hair, but fucking, I always love Mortician's promo photos. Roger's got the sleeveless Darth Vader t-shirt. Big Star Wars fan. But I wonder how Roger feels about the Disney Star Wars trilogy. I was trying to actually get a hold of him because I wanted to, like, I legit wanted to ask him about how he felt about the new Star Wars films. Because I wanted to add it into talking about Hacked Up for Barbecue. Just because I find it interesting when something like Star Wars just goes. And you could say, yeah, it shit the bed in 1999 with the prequels. And I'm not gonna you know, argue that, but I kind of think the Disney trilogy is just as bad. Those are terrible films. I'm sorry, they really are, but we're talking about fucking Mortician and this classic right here from the depths of New York, hacked up for barbecue, get eaten alive by maggots, get ripped in half, Call the mortician, call the necro cannibal, get into some apocalyptic devastation and some brutal disfigurement, but mostly make sure you hang up three on a meat hook. I really love the layout here, like I think it's fucking so sick having the entire cover in the old school layout like I was saying, and then the slipcase having just kind of a bigger version of the chair and whatnot. It's fucking dope. Like, I really, really like, you know, the TLC that was put in the Hacked Up for Barbecue. Because again, if you were to tell me in 2005, when I was really, really into cassette tapes and really, really into Mortician, that I wouldn't have to listen to Mortician on CD, I could listen to it on cassette and not have to worry about my car stereo eating that cassette, I'd be like, fuck you, <laughs> like, no fucking way. But nope, this sounds amazing, it looks amazing, and Roger and Will, to me, this is Mortician at their absolute finest. Now, again, you're going to have those arguments. Chainsaw Dismemberment's better. House by the Cemetery's better. It's all in the eye of the beholder. It is your opinion, and don't let anyone else change your opinion. Unless you're listening to some, like, fucking sketchy bullshit, and you don't know it's sketchy, and, like, you're in denial or some shit, you know? But that's beyond the point here. This was recorded and mixed July 1996. And it's aged so well. Because it's crazy how things go full circle nowadays. You have all these bands like trying to be the world's most brutal band. But Mortician already did that. And if you've seen Mortician live... They can prove it in a live setting as well. But here was when we still had Roger doing the drum programming. 
Now, in a live setting back in 1996, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure they were using programmed drums. And I'm also 88% sure that when you see Mortician live today with a real drummer, that that drum kit is sampled from the programmed drums from the original tracks. I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds that way to me, but again, I, I can't prove that. It doesn't take anything away from anything. It just, it wouldn't sound like Mortician otherwise. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have somebody like Flo from Cryptopsy behind the kit for a band like Mortician. It just wouldn't work. But... Here on Hacked Up for Barbecue, every single song on here is top shelf fucking Mortician. And to me, Mortician, as brutal as they are as a death metal band, they always had those like grinding elements from the Repulsion slash Napalm Death Scum Error bass tone that Will has to just some of the ridiculous blasting and whatnot. It's one of those releases where you can call it brutal death metal, you can call it death grind, you can just call it death metal because that's what it is at the end of the day with some outside elements of grind. But it's fucking sick. And when it comes to the more digital side of grind, I feel like Mortician were one of those bands in the early days that really took it and ran with it and all these years later Mortician are pop like more popular than ever and have definitely made a career out of cyber death metal and I know they started using a live drummer and whatnot later on and like I was saying in a live setting as well but to me they'll forever be the world's heaviest, most brutal death metal band. Mortician, hacked up for barbecue. Classic New York death metal. It's fucking Neanderthalic. It's fucking savage. It's Mortician. Horror movie samples are top notch. It's fucking great. Like, just from the opening, like... Oh man, one of my favorite samples is Blood Craving. Like, I, I forget the name of the actual movie. I think it's When a Stranger Calls. I don't know off the top of my head, but I, I just, I, I love it. And it's so fitting, and it sets the mood, and then it just gets gnarly as fuck. And Roger's riffs are just so goddamn good. Like, seriously. To me, again, this has both members' best musical performances on it. Will's vocals sound great. It's fucking sick. And this is a reissue with uh, Primitive Recordings, Mortician Records, and License from Relapse. But uh, I know there's a little... Uh, Thank you to all our friends and family all around the world. Stay brutal and support underground death metal. Fucking sick. Mortician hacked up for barbecue. The daily classic of the day. Get into this. If for some reason you've never heard hacked up for barbecue, if these tapes ever go up on sale again, Try and grab a cassette version, because this sounds great on tape. And I need to grab this on vinyl again next time it's reissued. I'm not sleeping on it. I'm definitely grabbing it. Like, it's one of my favorite, like, Mortician recordings, like I was saying. It is my favorite Mortician recording. What the fuck am I talking about? But it's just one of those records that never gets old. And you can ask my old band, like, I used to play this so much along with Macabre Sinister Slaughter. 
and it just gets fucking better and better with each listen. And yeah, if you're new to Mortician, what a better place to start than Hacked Up for Barbecue. Because it's very, very accessible. Where some of their other stuff is a little bit, I think, too gnarly for some people. This is right on the fucking money. But it's also brutal as fuck. But definitely, if you're a newcomer to Mortician, or you saw a meme or something, and you want to know what it's all about... Hacked Up for Barbecue pretty much, you know, proves that a band doesn't need memes to be talked about still in the underground all these years later. It's the music that fucking matters. And the fact that Will and Roger are back together on stage playing again. I'm not sure who's doing live drums. I'm sorry, but... I think it's sick the fact that they're playing sold out shows. They headlined Maryland Death Fest. Fucking A, Will and Roger, just for sticking with it all these years later and coming back after pretty much a long hiatus after the final bloodbath session and reanimated dead flesh. Will had some legal trouble overseas. If you don't know about that, look into it because it's not my business. And I'm not going to talk about it. But we were blasting Vehement Thrower or Vehement Thrower. I'm not really sure how to say it. So I apologize. But I Come in Peace is a 1993 Polish death grind. Pretty much underground classic. I'm not sure how popular this was until this reissue because... Once this was reissued and the links started making their rounds on Facebook and whatnot, every single person that I know I personally sent a link to was like, holy shit, how did this not, you know, get released before? Well, it was released before, but it was on cassette in 1993, and I'm sure it was limited as fuck. I think it had a CD release. Because I definitely, a long time ago, downloaded this off Kazaa. Remember Kazaa? Where you would think you were downloading like a Shy Halud album, but it would end up being like some POV porn? Yeah, it was one of those types of uh, programs where you didn't really know what the fuck you were getting, but that's why you shouldn't steal digital music. I learned the hard way, and it happens. But, Vehement Thrower, how many different ways can I say the band's name? I'm sorry, but this is fucking awesome. I come in peace, so fucking good. Bulldozing, Polish, Death Grind, reissued on Nuclear War Now Records, 1993, and... Mortician's 1996 classic. Hacked up for barbecue. So fucking heavy. So good. Horror movie driven. Death fucking metal. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails to Shane in New York. You fucking rule as well. Trevor, Will... Blood Incantation, everybody I ran into last night, Zach, fucking A. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hits.